Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Okay, imagine it's a hot summer's day and you're sitting under an apple tree reading your favorite book. Then, all of a sudden, an apple, bonk, falls right on your head. A falling apple, as a matter of fact, is what turned the world of science upside down. You see, the apple was lucky enough to fall on the head of one of the greatest minds of all time, Isaac Newton. He was the one who found the answers to so many difficult questions. Questions like, when you jump high, why do you fall back down to the ground? Or, why can't we fly? How does a rainbow get its colors? Ooh, a lot of questions. So, you know what, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's start the story from the very, very beginning. It all started when Isaac Newton was born on Christmas Day back in 1642 in England. Newton didn't grow up in a wealthy home with private tutors. Instead, he was poor. His mother hoped he would run the family farm one day. However, the boy had his heart and mind set on a completely different path. When he started his education, Newton showed great interest in mechanics and technology. Before turning 18, he had already invented an elaborate system of sundials. Uh, a sundial? That's a very interesting type of sun clock, which was so accurate, it was able to measure time down to the minute. Uh, keeping in mind, this was long before he could have had help from any uh, do-it-yourself YouTube video. A genius in the making, right? Newton completed his bachelor's degree at Cambridge University's Trinity College. Uh, this is a very well-known and famous school. The year was 1665, an important one in this scientist's life. That was also the time of the worst outbreak of bubonic plague in England. And if you're wondering what the plague is, it was one of the deadliest diseases at that time, referred to as the Great Plague. So, because of the plague, the university closed its doors and everyone had to return home and stay there. Maybe this sounds like a similar situation that you can relate to? Those years, despite how hard they were, were also the most productive period of Newton's life. He could do what he loved and enjoyed the most. Science. It was then that he discovered gravity. In fact, this year in his life is referred to as Annus Mirabilis which in Latin means the year of wonders. But back to our gravity story. Isaac Newton is sitting in the garden of his home when an apple falls, hitting him on the head. And that was the moment Newton understood that there must be a force which causes things to fall down. He was able to think of it like a giant magnet inside the earth that's pulling everything towards it. And he was right. This very force is called gravity. And it's thanks to gravity that if your pen falls off a desk, it'll land on the floor and not the ceiling. And it's thanks to gravity again that once you throw a ball in the air, it comes back down again. Or that we can walk on the floor and not just float around in space. Although, that might be kind of cool. It may seem simple to us. Who would imagine a ball flying away when you threw it instead of coming back down to the earth? But for the people who lived back then, it wasn't clear why this happened. Newton was the one who explained it. And he wrote a lot about gravity, of course. He was able to prove his theory and to illustrate it with examples and even develop formulas. But you'll learn about that in a couple of years. For now, let's get back to Newton's story. It's not only gravity that Newton is so famous for. He invented many things and discovered so many others. Here's one fun story about Newton. They say that he found a way to keep his cat from scratching on the door. Just imagine how irritating this could be, especially while you're trying to focus on something groundbreakingly important. Well, they say that what he did was to ask a carpenter if he could make a hole in his door. And this way, it was easier for the cat to walk in and out without disturbing him. Imagine that. Newton discovered gravity and cat doors. But let's leave the cats and come back to the science. One day, Newton saw a rainbow of colors when a ray of sunlight went through a glass window. Hmm, he thought to himself. That looks like the rainbow we see after the rain. 
Exactly. Newton began experimenting and learned that white light is actually made of seven visible colors, otherwise known as wavelengths. And you see those colors when a ray of light hits, for example, a prism, a piece of glass or plastic that changes the direction of the light. In nature, sunlight hits the droplets of water in the air, and when the light exits the droplet, the light divides into these same colors and forms a rainbow. Well, in order to prove his theory of color, Newton built a new kind of telescope. Telescopes, just to remind you, are those cool instruments that can help you see the stars. And Newton's telescope was more powerful and much smaller than the standard telescopes of his time. And it's even still in use today. How cool is that? Newton also loved math. At only 26, he became a professor of mathematics at Cambridge. However, teaching was not his passion. Research was. Newton discovered a new study of math, one that's really important in describing difficult processes. This math is the kind that we still today study at university or colleges, and it's called calculus. Now, one of the things Newton is best known for, apart from an apple falling on his head and discovering gravity, are his ideas about motion or movement. Now, Newton's laws are something you'll learn about in detail a little bit later in school. But just to give you an idea, what Newton says, for example, is that every object stays still until something pushes or pulls it. Well, think about your bike. It's just standing there until you decide to push the pedals and move it. Oh, and that's not even all. Newton was the first to suggest that the Earth was not perfectly round. He described it as a sphere that is squashed at its poles and swollen at the equator. Maybe not the best description, but back in the 17th century, that was quite a brave thing to say. People back then were absolutely convinced that the Earth was a perfect sphere. So in a nutshell, Isaac Newton will be forever remembered for his inventions and discoveries. Starting from the sundials, going through gravity, motion, light, telescopes, and even cat doors. Newton has given us so many incredible ideas and theories, which we still use today. He simply loved science and never stopped exploring. What a mighty mind! <laughs>